Today, let's talk about whether something is a burden or not a burden. You'll see what I mean. I'm going to read to you from 1 John chapter 5, verse 3, where we read this. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. Now, most people think the commandments of God are a burden. How can John say his commandments are not burdensome? Well, let me suggest to you some ways. His commandments are not burdensome when we see how wise and good the commandments of God are. They are gifts from God to show us the best and most fulfilling life possible. God's commands are like the manufacturer's handbook for life. He tells us what to do because he knows how we work best. God's commandments are not given to bind us or to pain us or because God is angry with man. Secondly, his commandments are not burdensome because... When we're born again, we're given a new heart. Hearts which by instinct wish to please God. As part of the new covenant, the law of God has been written on the heart of every believer. That's in Jeremiah chapter 31. Third, his commandments are not burdensome when we compare them to the religious rules that men like to make up. John's not trying to say that obedience is an easy thing. If that were so, then it would be easy for us to not sin. And John's already acknowledged that we all do sin. That's in 1 John chapter 1, verse 8. John's thinking of the contrast that Jesus made between the religious requirements that the religious leaders of his own day made and the simplicity of loving God and following him. Jesus said that all the rules and regulations of the scribes and Pharisees were as heavy burdens. But in contrast, Jesus said of himself, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Instead of the burdensome requirements to keep hundreds of little rules and regulations, Jesus simply says to us, love me and love my people, and then you'll walk in obedience. Fourth, his commandments are not burdensome when we really love God. When we love God, we will want to obey him and please him. When you love someone, it seems little trouble to go to a lot of difficulty to help them or to please them. You enjoy doing it. Though, if you had to do it for an enemy, you'd be complaining all the time. Just as the seven years of Jacob's service for Laban seemed only a few days to him because of the love that he had for Rachel, so obeying God's commands does not seem a burden when we really love him. There's an old proverb that says, love feels no loads. So friends, think about it. Today, are his commandments a burden to you? If so, ask God to give you the new insight that 1 John 5, verse 3 tells us, so that you can regard his commandments as a blessing instead of a burden. That's something God wants to work in every one of our lives and to work it in us today.